Star Wars movies immediately get dissected by fans when they come out. So if there are any plot holes or mistakes to be found, they're gonna be found. But sometimes some of the things that get found aren't actually mistakes and have some explanations. Whether or not those are satisfying explanations is another story. But here are Star Wars plot holes that actually make sense. Or at the very least have been somewhat explained at a certain point. There will be some slight spoilers for The Last Jedi here, so if you haven't seen that yet, you can add this to your Watch Later playlist. And if you're new to the channel, you can hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to date with our videos. In A New Hope, there's a scene where Obi-Wan is checking out some damage on a Jawa sandcrawler. And he said it must have been done by the Empire because only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise. Well, based on what we've seen in the Star Wars movies, and especially later on in that very same movie, they actually have pretty terrible aim. So Obi-Wan having said that line seems kind of out of place. But here are a couple of possible explanations for this. The first one is that Darth Vader wanted them to escape in A New Hope so he could track down the Rebel base. The other explanation is that the Force protects our heroes. Kinda like how it seemingly protected Chirrut Umwe in Rogue One. Satisfying answers? Not really, but they could kind of make sense. This is less of a plot hole and more something that some people got mad about in The Last Jedi. The fact that Yoda popped up as a force ghost and then set a tree on fire had some people saying, since when can force ghosts interact with their surroundings? Well, it seems like pretty much always. When Obi-Wan visited Luke after Yoda died, he took a seat on an actual physical rock. Granted, he didn't set anything on fire, so The Last Jedi did push it to an extreme, but he did interact with his surroundings. This is another one that a lot of people bring up when talking about The Last Jedi. If there's no gravity in space, how does the Resistance manage to drop bombs on the First Order? As it turns out, there is an explanation for this, but it's not in the movie. According to The Last Jedi's official guidebook, the bombs use sequenced electromagnetic plates. So the proton bombs are then drawn magnetically to their unfortunate targets. So to get that answer, you had to read a book, which doesn't seem totally fair. Here's another explanation that they put inside a Star Wars book. One of the major criticisms of The Force Awakens, and for that matter, The Last Jedi, is that Rey is kind of amazing at everything. When we meet her in The Force Awakens, she makes a living selling scrap parts, and she makes weird bread. It's a pretty simple life. So then how was she able to speak not only droid, which could make sense to a certain extent, but also Shriwook, the language of the Wookiees? Instead of just explaining this by throwing a line into the movie, they explain this by throwing a line into a book that not a lot of people read. The illustrated book Rey's Survival Guide is kind of a diary of Rey's time on Jakku. And there's a part where she writes, quote, I practice alien languages and droid speak so I can talk to people in Nima. She said she met some Wookiees in Nima and they taught her their language. They also told her stories about a Wookiee named Chewbacca. Another one of Rey's skills was brought into question by fans. How is she such an amazing pilot? She's right up there with Han Solo in terms of flying skills from the moment we meet her. Once again, we turn to Rey's survival guide for the answer. In that, it's revealed that she has an old Y-Wing computer display, on which she can run flight simulators. And there's more on that in another book called Star Wars Before the Awakening. That book says she spent years practicing. And also she had a speeder, which is all it took for Luke Skywalker to be super good, so I guess that checks out. And that does it for today's quick list. Let us know in the comments section what you think of these resolved plot holes and if you know of any others. If you're watching this on the Screen Rant Facebook page, you can hit that link to jump over to YouTube and subscribe. You can also hit up ScreenRant.com for the latest movie and TV news. Thanks for watching.